Everybody who's been following me for a while knows that I'm a big fan of the steak and eggs diet. But today I'm going to talk about something different. I'm going to talk about the anabolic diet. The anabolic diet is a diet that came out in 1995 and uh, it was created by the perfect person to come up with a bodybuilding diet. He was at once a bro scientist, he was like a champion power lifter, he's actually you know, been in the field and actually built up muscle and worked out, but he's also an academic scientist. He has a degree in uh, microbiology in route to getting a medical degree, he's an actual doctor. And he was an assistant professor at a college in uh, Canada. So like I said, he's a perfect combination of academic science and bro science. And what he came up with was something that he called the anabolic diet. He called it that because it was not necessarily supposed to uh, bulk you up or uh, cut fat, but rather do both at the same time. It was supposed to have an actual anabolic effect on your body like you would get from anabolic steroids. He came up with this diet when he was actually working for the uh, WWF because the thing is uh, the World Wrestling Federation, Pro Wrestling, the guy in charge of it was getting in trouble because he was supplying steroids, supposedly, to his wrestlers, okay? And, uh, you know, they just cracked down on it. They, he was getting in massive trouble. He was getting bad press. So he called in this guy who was an expert in uh, drug testing. Uh, from Canada to give him some credibility, first of all, that he's you know actually doing something against the drug problem, and second, that he's getting uh, you know a prominent doctor to go in and uh, take things the natural way. His idea was this guy would test them for steroids, throw them out of the federation if they were using, and the people that chose to get off steroids, he was going to come up with a diet that would give the same effects as using steroids. Now, we know that's not possible, okay? At the end of the day, the only thing that works like roids are roids, okay? However, um, the fact is, this diet does work to build muscle and burn fat at the same time. Not simultaneously, but cyclic within the same period, okay? And let me also say another thing. This was 1995. You know, that was right around the time when, like, mass monsters were coming out, okay? That was the time when uh, it was less and less where they were using steroids to become a great bodybuilder, but it was more uh, growth hormone and insulin, which are the two things that make people these days much bigger than back in the day. It also is, there's also the reasons why people just have grotesque faces and fat guts and stuff, but that's another point. The idea is, you know, we're talking about steroids, not the, you know, the uh, massive amounts of growth hormone and insulin. And this diet does help you do this. It's a cyclic ketogenic diet. What that basically means is you have a period of time where you eat high fat, low carbs. Then you have a period of time where you eat high carbs, low fat. And what you're basically supposed to do is get the best of both worlds, okay? You're, um, Learning, you're teaching your body to burn fat, okay, by going into ketosis. And then where people talk about, you know, their muscles going flat or losing energy or losing strength, you go ahead and carb up and then you go back into the ketogenic state, okay? Um, and everybody that's really done this diet has had excellent results. Now, let's just look at this, okay, for a second. It's called the anabolic diet because it's supposed to replace anabolic steroids. You go during the week, okay, where you eat high fat, low carbs, and on the weekends for two days, you go ahead and you eat high carb, low fat. Now, what does that remind you of? You know, he never gave the guy credit, okay? In his book, The Anabolic Diet, he's like, you know, question, why didn't anybody come up with this before? Well, Atkins was kind of like this, no. This is almost the exact same thing as the steak and eggs diet that Vince Garanda came up with and had Arnold Schwarzenegger and all Franco Colombo, all the guys back in the day on. Uh, there are a couple differences, okay? Uh, one difference is Mauro Di Pasquale is a lot more liberal with carving up, okay? He had basically, you know, all Saturday and Sunday, you could just eat as many carbohydrates as you want. 
he was more liberal about what you can eat. He's like, fine, eat, you know, if you want to eat some cake, go right ahead. If you want to drink a beer, drink a beer, okay? Whereas Vince Garanda was a lot stricter. He said either eat a small meal every three to five days or one day a week, okay? And he was really just like, eat clean carbs, okay? He was really against carbohydrates. Just eat enough to get some uh, glucose into your uh, body and then that's it, okay? One day a week or one meal every three to five days, not just two days of eating you know, high carbohydrates like the anabolic diet. So that's a difference. Another difference is on the flip side, Vince Garanda was really loose about what you eat while you're in the ketogenic phase, okay? He'd say, you know, one or uh, two or three, or three meals a day, uh, as many eggs as you want and as much meat as you want, and that's it, <laughs> okay? The idea being, you know, there's only so many steaks you can eat, so many eggs you can eat in a sitting, okay, before you just don't want to eat anymore. And, um, you know, if you do that twice a day or maybe three times a day, you know, you're not going to overeat. Whereas with the anabolic diet, it was the same foods, but uh, he was a lot more like, um, you know, you need to take your body weight times, I think it was 18, and that is how many calories you should take in for the maintenance phase, and then he had a cutting phase, and a mass building phase, and it was all based upon how many, uh, you know, how many calories you were taking in, okay? And, um, so like I said, that's the difference, you know, when it comes to like the cheat days, refeed, carb on the weekends, it was a lot longer and it was a lot looser with the anabolic diet, whereas the steak and eggs diet was a lot looser during the, uh, you know, uh, the ketogenic phase. But still, it was the, basically the same thing. Another thing is Vince Garanda said he was on this diet for nine months, got in the best shape of his life, and he says after a while he realized he wasn't just burning fat, he was also building muscle at the same time. Just the same thing that um, the anabolic diet was. You're supposed to lose fat during the week and build up muscle on the weekends, okay? And so you're supposed to do the same thing, okay? It was called the anabolic diet because he wanted to take the steroid guys from the WWF and have them use this to replace the steroids that he was testing for. And on the other hand, Vince Garanda said, for instance, with eggs, if you eat so many eggs a day, it's going to replace uh, Dianabol, you know, which was the big steroid, uh, you know, D-ball, the big steroid back in the day when he was coming up with this. Uh, it was like the first steroid that was really used a lot by bodybuilders. So, you know, um, and Vince Garanda said that because, you know, and I've had a lot of awesome effects by increasing my fat because fat, saturated fat, cholesterol, I said it before, I'll say it again. It, uh, you know, increases your testosterone, okay, it gives you energy once you get fat adapted, once you get keto adapted, and also, another thing is, um, you know, because you're on such low carbohydrates, even though you're, quote, bulking, okay, you're not going to get fat, okay, so you're, you know, you got the hormones pumping through your body to go ahead and help you build muscle, burn fat, but also you're not eating the carbs most of the time, so that keeps you really lean. So anyway, what I'm basically trying to say is the anabolic diet works, it's awesome. What I'm also trying to say is the steak and eggs diet works, it's awesome. The anabolic diet is a slightly different version, but it's basically the same thing as the steak and eggs diet. And uh, like I said, for especially for the skinny fat guy out there who needs to uh, you know, build mass without getting fat, uh, you know, preferably while losing a little bit of uh, fat, they should, he should go ahead and look at either one of these diets. And the easier, like the user-friendly version of the diet, I think, is the steak and eggs diet.